another another request that I get a lot of the time is to have me calculate somebody's age in Microsoft Excel. Here I have their birth date. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the birth date from today's date, and that's going to give us the number of days. So I'm, I'm going to say equals. Um, there's a function that's called today that represents today's date. Equals today, open parentheses, close parentheses, minus the birth date. I'm going to hit the enter key there. Now we have to format this column as an, a number. So I'm going to highlight column G, and then we'll put uh, we'll hit the home tab. I'm going to pick on this pull down. We'll just make it a number, and I'm going to take away the decimal places, just like kind of over here. So this is thirteen thousand nine hundred and five. That's the number of days. So to get the number of years, which would be the age, we have to divide that by um, three hundred and sixty-five. So I'm going to go up to the formula. I'm going to put an open parentheses here and a closed parentheses here, and then divide the whole thing by 365. The reason I'm using the parentheses is because I want the subtraction to uh, happen before the division. That's why I'm putting that, that phrase in, um, in parentheses. So I'm going to hit the enter key now. And now we can see that that person is already 38 years old. Let's see if that's correct. If they were born in 19, uh, uh, December 8th, 1972. As you can see, I'm recording this on January 3rd, 2011. So they really would be 30 years old. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy that down with the speed fill. And now we have the age of the rest of the people as well. So let's see the formula. Equals open parentheses today, open parentheses, close parentheses, minus E2, close parentheses, divided by 365. Today, is a function that means uh, the current date. The reason I'm using that is so that when we run it next month or in a, in a couple months or whenever we run that, it'll still use that day's current date and it'll always have their, their correct age. We're subtracting um, the birth date. So that's going to give us the number of days that they were alive. We're taking that whole thing and dividing that by 365 and that's going to give us the number of years, which is their age. That's a great way to calculate the age in Microsoft Excel.